When people ask us why we're talking about Bidenomics now, because we understand that people, the American people need to hear uh, from us directly what we have been able to do the last two years, how historic it has been. We understand that some people just don't feel it quite yet. Well, that was White House Press Secretary Green jean Bier yesterday. As President Biden and his cabinet are traveling across the country the next two days to tout Bidenomics. Uh, a Fox News poll finds the American people aren't buying what the administration is selling. 60% of voters disapprove of Biden when it comes to the economy. And, and Francis, you know, this is the thing. 2024, I mean, obviously they're launching this going into the election. It wallet issues. Every election, it is wallet issues, and people are still dealing with high inflation. There have been a lot of layoffs in the corporate sector and worries about the economy. Absolutely. Everything is still costing more as we continue despite the rate hikes. And even though it's going down at the rate that it's accelerating, mm -hmm. inflation is still going up and people are, you know, putting it on credit cards. We have a record amount of credit card usage. Those APR, um, you know, that's reached over 20 percent. And I just feel like exactly the credit card rates. And I just feel like the affordability, the standard of living has gone down so far. You've got the majority of millennials living off of credit cards. You've got over 50 percent of millennials getting help with, from their parents to even just make it go right. And I feel like if they're going to talk about Biden Bidenomics, they're going to have to acknowledge that such a large percentage of the country is suffering. They're actually just struggling to well, pay for their basic needs. I'll tell you what, Mike, I was looking at the at where everyone's going here, and guess where Vice President Kamala Harris is going to? She's going to Phoenix to the Gila River Indian uh, Gila River Indian Reservation in Arizona. Doubt she goes to the border. Hey, but she's the border czar. Everybody remember that. Right. You would think that maybe there's an opportunity to at least get down there and, and talk about that. But they don't. And this has been one of the things that if you talk to anybody who lives down on the border in the Texas or the Arizona areas, they're just like, so why doesn't people come here? We know it's a hard problem, but you don't solve problems by just sitting and ignoring it. You need to have engagement. In fact, she's going to be at a, at a reservation in Arizona. It's so close. It's going to be kind of a, 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 a flip of the hand. To, well, they're uh, also sending out border. Secretary Pete Buttigieg. She's going to Washington, and I think that's interesting <clears throat> because of all the, the FAA disaster that we've just seen over the last well, the week FAA and all the, disaster, the, the, the train, flight mare that we've been covering the, and talking about. The train about. issues, you know, yeah. I mean, he's not showing up in Ohio after that train derailment for so long. I mean, there, there are real questions about how his administration has responded to emergencies. I wonder if Bidenomics is, I don't, I'm not so sure that that's really going to connect like they're hoping it will. I think it's exactly what you said. You have to admit that it's not perfect. You can't just right. come out and gloss over it and say he's done a phenomenal job and everybody's happy and look at the inflation rates going down because that's not what people are feeling. Mm -hmm. And so that message doesn't resonate with people. It's mm -hmm. not true for them. The oldest adage in politics is if you don't tell people what you're doing, they assume you're doing nothing here. So there's a little piece of that. But as you said, you know, this is a run up to the election. They, they, they have to start talking about this now and try to get this focused. I'm just not so sure that their message is going to sell. Well, and also, too, all the people that are traveling, where is he? You know, that's, that's the other thing. Is, it, is he going to be running from the basement again? I mean, that's what he effectively did right. in 2020, and it worked for him. So I, maybe they're thinking the same strategy again. But uh, they, they seem to really be protecting him. He doesn't give many interviews. He's just, uh, I think that if you really want to sell something with your name on it, then you should be the messenger. And I don't think he's really done a good job of that message. Yeah, I just think it's risky to put him out there. Yeah, obviously. So for they're many weighing reasons, the risks. <laughs> many reasons that we've discussed for sure. Yeah.